Hey people, today's job is whacking some new jets in the Royal Enfield Himalayan Carby. Okay, so first off we're just going to be removing the top cap. Just four screws, looks like a possibly a plastic cap on this one. It's a bit of a spring under here that uh, returns the piston into place, so just go careful as you keep a bit of pressure on top as you're taking the screws out. And a spring. Okay, so we just release the diaphragm for the piston and the needle comes out with that. Down the middle of the piston there, you can just see a Phillips head screw. That will just go about a third of a turn. You pop that little clip off. And then it will slide out. Just take note of what order everything's in here. So we've got the little cap. And then we've got a couple of little shims on the needle. So that's lifting the needle up, making it richer. Six Sigma give you a little breakdown of the carby there, um, which is very handy to refer back to. Have a look in the bottom end of the carby now. I suspect that this carby has already been uh, played with a little bit because um, the guy that owned the bike before me put a, a better flowing exhaust on it and I believe he had it run over a dyno, so quite likely they've already made some adjustments to the carby to try and get that running as good as possible. So it'll be interesting to see what jets we've got in here compared to the original. Little, little spring washers on each of these screws. So just keep an eye out for those. Looks like there's one missing already, which again tends to suggest that it's been fiddled with. A little bit mucky on the inside of the bowl there, so make sure we give that a good clean out. Might have a slight problem. The schematic diagram that Six Sigma have given me doesn't really match the carby that I've got. A few slight differences. So I found the right uh, schematic, so ignore what I said about this one, chuck it out because it's fucking useless. We've got three different size main jets, 128, 132 and 136. The standard is a 125 on this one here. So I'm going to put the 132 in, start with that and then that gives us a bit of range either way and now that I'm going to be able to locate the pilot jet we'll replace that, we've got a 17.5 and a 12.5 I think the instructions suggest you put in the 12.5 here's the schematic from the Himalayan manual I've highlighted in orange the main jet number 17 and the pilot jet number 39 pilot jet, main jet, they're the two that we'll be replacing, so this is the main jet here and this will be the pilot jet down this little hole just here. Good idea to use the best fit screwdriver you can on the jets because they are brass and they can damage pretty easily so use the best fit. That's the main jet out. I'm going to pop in the 132. Take out the pilot jet. Slightly different shape but hopefully that'll work okay. Just 
just giving the float bowl a little clean out with some cleaning fluid. Pop this bowl back on. Find a spring washer for this little screw that hasn't got one. Made for it. Just did those up loose before. Just going back to them now, giving a quick tighten up. Just doing diagonals so that it tightens down nice and even. That's the bottom back on. Let's uh, have a bit more of a look at that needle. We're just going to take note of how many turns the mixture screw t takes to gently bed down. So we've got half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, just over three and a half, so that's just gently bedded down there. Got to be careful not to damage the end of the uh, the pointed end of the mixture screw. So just be very gentle. So they recommend coming out two and a half turns. So I'm going to go half, one, one and a half, two. Two and a half, and then that gets adjusted when you're setting up the idle. That's the first screw that you play with and get your idle um, mixture correct. Just on the needle here, what you're supposed to have is a little E clip at number seven there, and that that's what uh, slots into these little grooves and allows you to, to adjust the the mixture on the needle by raising or lowering that. If it's at the top it's lean, if it's at the bottom you've got a richer mixture. So according to the schematic here you've got the e-clip and then you've got a washer and that's it. Now yeah, well, I've actually got one, two, three washers there. So that suggests to me that yeah, somebody's already had a little muck about with the mixture, probably because of the uh, higher flowing exhaust that went on. I've just noticed that we've actually got this little plastic shim washer in there as well under the e-clip. I think that is the original and then these have all been added to make the mixture a bit richer to suit the exhaust. These are the little shims that came with the kit here. Just going to measure up firstly the little plastic shim. So that's saying 1.6 mil. That's saying 0.5. That's saying 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay, so the metal ones are half a mil thick. That one's one and a half. Let's just have a little measure of what was in there. So we had a 0.5, a 0.5 and a 0.5. So we had 1.5 in there previously. So I might just replace it with that, those three little shims with the one little plastic washer that came with the Six Sigma kit and that is equivalent to those three, just a little bit neater. Dropping the needle back into the piston. Oh, a real bugger. A pretty straightforward job there to replace the jets and the 
look at the needle for the Himalayan carby. Uh, just a note on the price, that, that little pack there was about $72 Australian, about $55 US. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty pricey for a few little bits of brass, um, but there wasn't a lot of options out there. Um, I mean, I could have perhaps drilled out the jets, um, but not an ideal situation really. So, 72 bucks. There we go.